How are you doing everyone? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Well, isn't this the perfect day to test the new Intel Core i3-8100 Coffee Lake CPU against AMD's Ryzen 3 1200 running at stock as well as overclocked to 4 GHz? Now why just overclocked the Ryzen you ask? Well, this specific i3 model comes with a locked multiplier, therefore doesn't support overclocking. Simple. Right now this 8100 can be picked up for about 130 US dollars, the Ryzen 1200 for a little less, 120 dollars. To let you guys know, both processors do come with stock coolers, so there's no need to go out and buy coolers. On the Ryzen side, you can even do some pretty decent overclocking with the included Wraith Stealth cooler to get more out of that CPU. With the i3, you're left with what is offered out of the box. Both CPUs are quad cores featuring four threads. Same TDP, fairly similar clock speeds, and a little more cache on AMD side. Now, ideally, you'd pair such a Ryzen 3 with a B350 motherboard. However, I only had a X371, but B350 does allow for overclocking as well. At the time of this video, there's no equivalent board out there on the Intel side. So you're only given the option of going with Z370, but no worries, early next year those cheaper boards should be released. So for this comparison, I'll not be taking motherboard pricing into consideration. And now, let's go! Okay, first off, stock versus stock, the Intel i3-8100 does a remarkable job even easily beating the Ryzen 3 1200 there when it comes to rendering, which honestly I didn't really expect the first time I ran the tests. But of course Ryzen's advantage is its unlocked multiplier, so you can take it further and 4 GHz weren't even that hard, although temperature wise a bit challenging when doing it with the stock cooler. I did it with an AIO liquid cooler. So when it comes down to video rendering in let's say Vegas Pro 14, the overclocked Ryzen 1200 takes the lead there. But as soon as you fire up some games, the i3-8100 fires back with its good single core performance. Intel clearly still benefits a lot optimization wise in games making it the better gaming CPU to pick in the majority of game titles. Still as good, these theoretical 720p FPS differences may appear, you'll most likely run everything at resolutions like 1080p or 1440p and you won't be going with super duper expensive graphics cards like a GTX 1080 Ti, which means you'll probably stick somewhere in between a GTX 1060 and 1070 or RX 580. And then you'll be playing within the GPU's limit anyway, making the offered CPU performance by either the i3 or Ryzen 3 kind of irrelevant. Theoretically, the i3-8100 is the better gaming CPU, but practically you won't notice that much of a difference. That is if you overclock the Ryzen 1200, which I hope you would do. The power consumption shouldn't really be of any concern. Sure, the i3-8100 does consume a little less, especially when comparing against an overclocked Ryzen 3 1200, but effectively the difference isn't that big actually and hardly will make a difference on your power bill. 
So is there a clear winner? No, I don't think so. Theoretically, the i3-8100 is better, but practically when pairing both of these processors with a realistically picked GPU, the difference is not that big. But maybe you have different opinions. If so, sound off about it in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.